Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about exponents or the power. We already know when bases are same we can just add the exponents. For example 5 to the power 2 multiplied by 5 to the power 3 is equal to 5 to the power 2 plus 3 or we can say 5 to the power 5. But what if bases are different but the exponents are same? For example 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 3. We can break it as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. If we rearrange to make the groups of 2 multiplied by 3 then what do we get? We get 3 groups of 2 multiplied by 3. So it is like multiplying 2 into 3 3 times that is 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 3. We know 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. So we can say 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 is equal to 2 into 3 to the power 3 which is equal to 6 to the power 3. You may wonder what happens when the bases are different but the exponents are same. Let us take an example. 4 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 3. We can write it as 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 5 into 5 into 5. Now we can represent this as fraction 4 by 5. So here we are actually multiplying 4 by 5 3 times and we get 4 by 5 multiplied by 4 by 5 multiplied by 4 by 5. That is 4 by 5 raised to the power 3. So we can say 4 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 3 is actually equal to 4 by 5 raised to the power 3. So when the bases are different but exponents are same like a to the power m divided by b to the power m we bring all the bases under same parenthesis and exponent remains the same. So a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m becomes ab to the power m and a to the power m divided by b to the power m becomes a divided by b and whole of this raised to power m. Now how to simplify this? We have 4 to the power 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 multiplied by 625 and whole of this is divided by 6 to the power 3 multiplied by 5 to the power 2. Looks complicated, isn't it? Let us simplify this expression using the laws we have learnt. Now here we can take 4 and 3 and 6 under the same parenthesis as their exponents are same. So it becomes 4 multiplied by 3 divided by 6 raised to the power 3. Similarly, 625 means 5 raised to power 4. So 625 can be replaced by 5 to the power 4. 4 multiplied by 3 divided by 6. This means 12 divided by 6 and simplifying we get 12 divided by 6 raised to power 3. Simplifying further 6 twos are 12. We get 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 
2 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 2 means 5 to the power 4 minus 2 that is 5 square so the answer is 2 cube multiplied by 5 square 2 cube is equal to 8 5 square is equal to 25 so we get 8 multiplied by 25 which is equal to 200 thus the answer is 200 now let us simplify another expression 5 cube multiplied by 3 to the power 5 multiplied by 6 the whole thing divided by 3 square multiplied by 25 here we see in the numerator we can break 6 as 2 into 3 so we get one more 3 multiplied to 3 to the power 5 and in the denominator we have 25 which is equal to 5 square here we see in the numerator 3 to the power 5 multiplied by 3 which is actually 3 to the power 1 also in the denominator we have 3 to the power 2 hence solving we get 3 to the power 5 plus 1 minus 2 coming to 5 we have in the numerator 5 to the power 3 and in the denominator 5 to the power 2 so we get 5 to the power 3 minus 2 thus we get 3 to the power 6 minus 2 multiplied by 5 to the power 3 minus 2 multiplied by 2 3 to the power 6 minus 2 means 3 to the power 4 multiplied by 5 to the power 3 minus 2 means 5 to the power 1 and this is multiplied by 2 simplifying further 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81 multiply with 5 and 2 we get 810 so the answer is 810 so in a nutshell when the bases are same during multiplication like a to the power m multiplied by a to power n we just add the exponents so it is equal to a to the power m plus n and during division like in a to the power m divided by a to the power n we subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator so it becomes a to the power m minus n but when the bases are different and the exponents are same like in a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m we bring all the bases under the same parenthesis and the exponent remains the same so a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m becomes a b to the power m same way a to the power m divided by b to the power m becomes a divided by b whole raised to power m and you know this is what exactly the sixth and the seventh law of exponents say so according to the sixth law of exponents if a and b are the rational numbers and m is any whole number then a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m is equal to a b to the power m and according to the seventh law of exponents if a and b are the rational numbers and m is any whole number then a to the power m divided by b to the power m is equal to a divided by b whole raised to power m so that was all about exponents. Bye bye children.